Friday night, December 1st at the Pembroke Rescue Squad. Clash for the Kids 2 Toy Drive. It's the main event, Chief Red Thunder versus yours truly in a dog collar match. Now Red Thunder, me and you are a lot alike. We've got a lot of similarities, but we've got some differences too. We're both trained by legends. You trained by legendary Russian bear, Ivan Kolov. I don't need to go down the list of legends I was trained by. We've both got that great Lumbee pride, that Lumbee blood running through us. We're both, you know, try to proudly represent Pembroke. That's where the similarities end. See, the difference between me and you, Red Thunder, is what scares me is I kind of feel that even if you don't win Friday night, even if your hand is not raised, if you don't walk out WWP champion, you'll be okay with that. What bothers me, Red Thunder, is you're happy and content no matter what. You'll still say a positive person. Not me. No, that, ain't, that ain't me at all, Red Thunder. See, I ain't a happy person. I, I ain't a content person. I just, I'm not happy to be here, Red Thunder. You're happy probably representing our people. You're happy being a hometown hero. Nah, not me. Um, See, at 18 years old, I was sitting in the bleachers of the Nashville Fairgrounds and sweat was pouring down my body and I had my head down and I was questioning myself. And as I looked up, I seen at the end of the hallway at the door frame, a familiar figure was blocking out the light. And as that individual started stepping closer and closer, my heart started beating harder and harder and harder and faster. And the sweat started pouring down faster and more profusely down my face with every step. And they get closer. My heart felt like it was going to beat out of my chest. I felt I was going to sweat out every ounce of water out of my body. And that's when he put his hand on my shoulder. And I raised my head and I looked up. And our eyes locked. And it was the American dream. Dusty Rhodes. He looks me in the eye and says, Kid, you got a lot of potential. You can do some great things. You can be one of the biggest stars ever. But to be one of the biggest stars, to do great things, you have to go out and be great. You have to go out and be big. See, Red Thunder World, you're happy being content where you're at, not me. No, sir. See, I'm not happy being the best Long be pro wrestler there is. I already am. I'm not happy being the best pro wrestler from Pembroke. I already am. I'm not happy being the best pro wrestler from Robinson County. I already am. I got to be the greatest that ever done it. I got to be the best of all time. And that means I got to face every obstacle. That means Friday, December 1st, when we're chained together. Spike collar, 15 foot of loggers chain in this dog collar match. I got to be willing to go further than you. I got to be willing to be a little sicker in the head than you, Red Thunder. See, when you look at your kids in the face, whether you win or lose, Dad, it's going to be okay. I have to look at my mother in her beautiful brown eyes. And be reminded. Mom. Greatness. The everlasting chase of greatness. Is why I have to give you a mother-in-law. This is the reason I have to give you grandchildren. See, I got to be the greatest ever Red Thunder. And I'm willing to die for it. Because I've already sacrificed my life that I've dreamed and prayed about just to be great. Friday Red Thunder, when you're linked with the Pembroke Pit Bull, God's favorite wrestler, the last king of pro wrestling, you're linked in somebody who has no care about losing life as long as I go down champion. And the greatest you've ever done. I'll see you Friday, Red Thunder.